So this is going to be an inexpensive prom look for you guys and I am going to jump right into it um, starting with filling in her brows and I will say this is probably one of the products that I did use that is not inexpensive. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony but you can use the NYX Eyebrow Gel and I believe Brunette or Chocolate. I'm just going to go ahead and fill in her brows and then I'm going to clean them up using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Dark Cocoa and Fine. I went ahead and mixed those two together. Next, I am going to apply a primer to her eyes. This is the Lorac Pro Primer. It was a sample that I received from the Lorac Pro palette. I'm just blending it out with my finger. And then afterwards, we are going to go into the BH Cosmetics 28 Neutral Eye Palette. And I'm going on a new shade and I'm applying that to the crease of her eyes. And I'm just blending it out. Next, I will be applying the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk to her lids. Um, she does kind of have a hooded lid, so I did apply them to, you know, as much as I can, and I went ahead and blended them out with my fingers. And then afterwards, we're going to go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me To Brazil palette, and I took a blue shade and started to pack that onto her lid, right where I applied the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Now we're going to go ahead and blend out everything. You don't want any harsh edges or anything. So I did go into that same brush that I was using and I blended out the shadow that I applied. And then we're going to go right back into that same palette and we're going to take a darker blue and apply that to the outer corners of her lids. Now I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and I'm going to take the blackout shade, um, it's the blackest black that I have and I'm just going to apply that to the outer corners of her lid also and it's going to give it kind of a smoky effect. And then we're going to go right back into blending. <laughs> Now, um, what I'm taking is the NYX uh, glitter liner, and I'm dipping it into the NYX glitter that they have, and I'm applying it to her lid. For some reason, Urban Decay, um, excuse me, not Urban Decay, for some reason, Ulta did not have the glitter glue, so I'm taking the uh, gel liner, and I'm just applying the glitter that way instead. Now we're just going back in and blending everything out, just make sure it's perfect. And then next we're going to go ahead and apply her foundation. I'm not sure what foundation she had. Um, I know it was the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, but I'm not sure of the shade, so I will leave that listed down below. But it was a tad bit too light um, for her, just a tad bit. Um, you guys probably can't tell on camera, but I can see a person. So I went in and applied, um, you know, another Fit Me foundation that was just a little darker on top of that, and I blended those together. Thank you. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and start highlighting and contouring. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal under her eyes with the shade Dark Cocoa from the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And then I'm going to go on top of that with the shade Fawn. And then we're going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender or a beauty sponge, whichever you have. <laughs> Now she did have some creasing under her eyes, so I did tell her to look up until I applied the powder and, you know, let it set for a couple seconds and then brush it away just to avoid, um, you know, creasing. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the powder. This is the CoverGirl Loose Powder. Like I said, she is looking up the whole entire time until I brush the powder away. This is going to help reduce the creasing under her eyes. Now we did not go with the baking method. And that's because with this powder, it does leave a, like a, a orangish yellowish undertone. And I did not want to have that, you know, on her face. So I did brush it away as soon as I got done applying it. Now we're going to go ahead and contour her face. Now I used the e.l.f. contour kit and I just contoured the hollows of her cheeks, her forehead, and also, you know, her chin. And I did go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Havana and contoured a little more. You do not have to do that step, but I'm extra, so I had to do that. <laughs> Now we're just, you know, cleaning it up just a little bit, make sure the contour is very sharp and crisp, and then we're going to go ahead and apply a little bit of highlight to the highest points of her cheekbones, which is the e.l.f. Healthy Glow Light Highlighter, excuse me, and then we're going to apply the Jordana Gel Eyeliner to her waterline. Now we're going to go ahead and apply blush to the apples of her cheeks, which is the e.l.f. blush. And then we're going to go back in and contour her nose. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, contour kit in Havana, but you can use the e.l.f. And then we're going to go ahead and apply that dark blue shade to the lower lash line. I just brought it in two-thirds of the way. I didn't bring it fully all the way. And of course, I'm in the frame. I'm sorry. Um, but just make sure it's blended out really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes. These are the e.l.f. lashes. I will leave them down below for you guys. And I'm still in frame. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and take the shade Verve from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and apply that to the tear ducts of her eyes. Afterwards, I will be taking the Maybelline Colossal Mascara and applying that to her lower lash line. And then we're going to jump right into doing her lips next. So I took the NYC um, pencil liner and I went ahead and lined her lips. And then I used the shade Stockholm from NYX, which is the uh, matte lipstick that they have. And I applied that to her lips. And then I went back in and applied the pencil liner just to give it an ombre effect. And then I applied this NYX lip gloss. And afterwards, I went ahead and set her face with the e.l.f. makeup setting spray. I sprayed a lot because, you know, it's supposed to be prom. But after that, that's pretty much the complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely subscribe and thumbs up this video. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. That was just my idea.